Well, this is the maiden flight of my Nuhi Toys U807 um, quadcopter, which I received from Gearbest just this week. Um, this is the first relatively large quad that I've um, owned. Prior to this, I've been playing around with the Sima X11 and the Esheen H8 Mini. So this is going to be a bit of fun. Now, I'll bind the quadcopter and the remote. Now what I'm going to do now is calibrate headless mode. I don't particularly intend to fly in headless mode. I am however interested to see if um, reports that I've read on the internet about the stumble mode um, which is present in the higher in higher rates is still present or not. I had read somewhere that the newer versions of this quad didn't have that feature anymore so I'll be interested to see if that's actually the case. So quads all bound up I've calibrated the gyro let's see how it goes has a bit more beef to it than uh, the uh, X11 that I'm used to. I'm um, just in low rates at the moment, just until I get a, a feel of the quad. Let's have a look at the UA. That is, whoops, that is quite an improvement over the Simer X11's yaw rate. a little bit challenging flying today. I'm actually house sitting for my parents and I'm in their uh, rather small backyard. I've got less room than I'm used to normally. Uh, less, less room than I'm used to normally. I'm flying a much faster quadcopter. And there's also a bit of wind. I'm going to have to go into medium rates. Well, this is much. much different beastie to the X11. I think I'm going to enjoy flying this one. Now if I remember correctly to enable headless mode it's a click of the... yeah there we go and yes we still have that silly stumble mode in headless mode. Oh well, I don't use headless mode anyway, so it's not that big a loss.
guess this is a much much more responsive and agile quad than what I'm used to hopefully if the weather holds up and I get what a day like this on the weekend I'll be able to take the quad out into a larger space and really see what it can do. Alright, let's get this thing up into high rates and see. Oh! Okay, come back. Lost orientation for a moment there. And there's a bit of wind up high, so just bring that back down. Put it back in the medium rate for the time being. Don't want to lose the quad on my maiden flight. One thing I am finding a little bit more challenging than with this quad is throttle management. I am finding it harder to hold a uh, steady height. Definitely need more practice with this quad. Definitely need more practice uh, flying in close quarters like that too. Okay. I can't see my LEDs at the moment, so no, looks like it's still good as far as battery level goes. Although the battery is getting down, it doesn't feel quite as responsive on the uh, throttle as it was before. Exactly the best thing to do to your props. Okay, that wind's building up a bit now.
and yep, the LEDs are flashing, so it's time to call it quits.